welcome to day 64 of this journey that we've been on, or it's journey I've been on, learning how to shave with a straight razor. 64 days. Gotta love it. Gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna say um, as we get to the point where I don't need to say day whatever. Uh, I definitely don't want to be in a position where I'm saying, hey, it's day number 1,756. Uh, but until we get to that point, I guess that's my opener. So, uh, welcome. It's uh, it's a Saturday. The weather, wow, it's been a weird week because uh, Wednesday was like 50 degrees outside. And then uh, the next day, we had a high of, uh, had a high of like, 12 and then today it was 2 when I woke up so uh, what a time huh gonna be shaving with an oldie but a goodie uh, it's Parasso is what we're using today it's an Italian soap been around for a long time my grandfather even used to use it and uh, so I'm ready to start loading the brush it's got a the, the green they come in three colors I think red green and white and the red is like a sandalwood scent. The white, I don't, I don't know what the white is. Um, and the green, it's kind of like a menthol. Um, menthol, I don't know if there's maybe some eucalyptus in there, but it's uh, definitely, definitely can get the menthol. Uh, and I, I really like it. Goes in, it's a great lather. It's been around, like I said, Parasso's been around for a long time. There's a reason why. It's a good soap. It lathers really, really well, really, really quickly. So right now I'm just kind of loading up the brush and it's going all over the place. There we go. I'll put it in the old scuttle. Add some water in the scuttle to see if I can get it to go. When you first do that, um, it, the, the suds, the, the soap suds up with really, really, really big bubbles, which is not what you want. You want to get that really, really fine. And this doesn't take long at all to do. I mean, it's a good, it's a good soap. I've noticed for foaming, it's a good soap for glide. It's just a great soap. It's a good shade when you use it. I'm getting it just all over the bowl because it doesn't take long to just do its magic. Not at all. I'd, I'd, I'd hold the scuttle up and show you, but unfortunately, like I said, there's water in the scuttle and I don't want to spill water all over the place. All right, the lather is built. Wetting my face. Dry the hands. And we will almost be ready to begin. We'll paint the face. All right. Here we go. Parasso Green. Surprisingly enough, Parasso is one of the uh, one of the cheaper, as far as price goes, not made, cheaper shaving soaps out there. I don't know if it's just because it's been around for such a long time and it's not considered an artisan soap. Uh, whatever it is, whatever the reason, uh, it's you can get it. Uh, well, pretty close to half the price of everything else, but it's a good it's a good soap, really good soap. I've shaved with it several times now. I really like it, and like I said, I, I remember my grandfather using it. I don't remember if he had the red or the green. For some reason, my memory tells me red, but you know you can't really trust your memory uh, sometimes. Uh, with, you know. It'll put little details in that maybe weren't necessarily there. A 
Okay. Using the uh, my Dovo Bismarck. It needed a little uh, fine tuning or touch up. So yesterday I ran it, ran it on the 12,000 grit uh, Naniwa stone, and then uh, stropped it with uh, chromium oxide, and it really did a good job. There we go. I got a stretch. Nice shave. By I, I use a 6.8 blade. That's what I started out with. Uh, my son, he just bought a new uh, a new blade. He got a Dovo. It's a, it's a little st uh, step up in quality than this one, but he likes the 5.8s. Um, a little smaller blade he, he prefers. Like I said, this, this side I can see when I turn my head. This side I still haven't mastered the angle on seeing yet. I'll get there. <clears throat> I watched the video uh, from Monday, and yeah, it looks like when you do a close-up in here that, that there's just all kinds of uh, beard right in there, and, and like I was saying last time, it, that's not the way it looks in the mirror. Uh, that just must be a really good camera lens, because <laughs> it, I mean, I mean, I can see it dark right now, but after I get done with the other couple passes, it won't look like that to me in the mirror. To hear it, if the camera, it shows a lot. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's the camera adding 10 pounds of beard here, I don't know. And for those of you who don't get that joke, <laughs> go take a film class someday. All right, pass number two. I tried my hand at making some shaving soap this past week. 
on Tuesday, so it's been about what five days, four days. It's downstairs curing, drying out, curing. I used a sandalwood scent, but I'm really not concerned with the scent right now as much as I am with how's it going to function. I think it turned out okay. I mean, it, does, it right now it looks really, really ugly, but that's because I'm trying to make a shaving so uh, that I should have in a jar, like the Parasso jar, you know, in here. <clears throat> but I made it uh, in a little like tart or cupcake cup and popped it out, so it looks it looks ugly. But that's okay. Um, it, I just did it that way just to because I'm going to give a couple away to to some testers. My brother being one and my son being another. It was definitely an experience, that's for sure. You definitely have to be paying attention when you start mixing your lye together and make sure you're using the right container to do it. Now see, at that point, if, if you can still see um, darkness right in here, um, it to me in the mirror, it looks almost the same as everywhere else. Yeah, I used an old uh, aluminum pitcher that I had that I used to make candles from to mix the lye water in. Uh, didn't even, uh, never entered my mind that lye is a, an acid or, you know, it's going to be a chemical reaction in it. Ha <laughs> I had a chemical reaction. Aluminum is not a good container to mix lye in. Yeah, it does. It reacted, started to react with the aluminum to the point where I took it outside the pitcher. It, I mean, it was really reacting violently. Not violently that I was ever in danger that was going to 
splatter all over, you know, get on you and burn you. But it was definitely reacting and heating up, heating up fast. And uh, there was probably, I don't know, three inches of snow slash ice on our patio table out on the deck. And so I took that container out there and set it on that ice and it just melted it right down to the glass top. <laughs> it was hot. And it was also a gray sludge because, like I said, it reacted with that aluminum. I'm sure it ate a little bit of the aluminum walls away. So luckily I wasn't making very much. And so uh, it was a semi-controlled, out-of-control reaction. <laughs> And I didn't waste much product, like I said, because I wasn't making all that much. So I switched to a different container, Pyrex glass. No problems. So I'm probably going to have to do a little video on uh, lathering it up for the first time. You know, and uh, seeing how it it holds up, I mean, you're supposed to the, the books and everything say that you're supposed to let soap. I used a cold process, is what it's called. I, I don't I don't warm it up uh, as I'm making it, and uh, they say that uh, you're supposed to let soap cure for four to six weeks. To let it both dry out and to let all the lye react with the oils. Boy, there's still still a ton of cream there. I hate it just breaks my heart to put all that down the sink. But you let it re, uh, set for four to six weeks to one let a lot of the water dry out, evaporate, and then also all the lye reacting to the oils so there's no more lye and it won't burn you when you use it. However, in speaking with someone and also reading a book, speaking with somebody who has made lye before, uh, lie, made shaving soap before, you don't have to let shaving soap sit as long because it's a different makeup than bar soap. And it is, it is. <laughs> so uh, I, may, I may give it a test lather this coming week. But I'll still let it cure several weeks just to get all that water evaporated. Nice. This side's always the harder side. Although today it felt pretty good. Looks good, feeling good.
trying to get a little touch up there because I can feel it up. Kind of tap to the blade on the faucet there. That's no good. Make sure that it's all right. Just barely, barely, barely. But these are very sensitive blades, edges. Very smooth, smooth. That's a good shave today. So for you who may notice stuff here and here, all I can say is ignore it. <laughs> and it's not blackheads. I don't have a ton of dirty blackheads on the face. That's not what it is. It's just a dark beard, I guess. But it's, it's smooth. Smooth, smooth. All right. Oh, cold water. So today, I don't have a ton of blades to switch off from and, and demonstrate like all the other people who do straight razing videos, shaving razors, uh, shaving videos do. I just have two. I just have, and they're both Dovos, both 6'8". One's the best quality, one's the Bismarck. We use the Bismarck today. Shaving with some Parasso Green, the menthol. Look how, look at that, really stands up. That's after what, is that uh, 18, 19 minutes? That's a good lather right there. And I'm gonna finish up with a, a Fine Accoutrements American Blend. This one has a scent that if I describe it, only part of you will understand and it'll be the older ones I like that it has a very similar odor to the Avon men's colognes and I, and, and I know some of you may be going oh it's not as overpowering Avon was just like oh man that stuff would just burn your nose hairs off uh, but they came in fun bottles to collect but this has kind of a, a hint of that, um, and, and it has a nice, uh, nice tingly feel to the face, not overpowering like the Avon, and it's not overpowering in its scent, but it does remind me of that. And it also reminds me of whatever cologne my dad used to wear. This is not a cologne, it's an aftershave, by the way, fine accoutrements, American blend. Whatever my dad used to wear, whatever cologne he used to wear, this, it smelled like this. Uh, and so uh, I always get memories. Uh, it's funny how when you smell the different soaps, the different aftershaves, whatever, uh, if it's something similar in your mind or, or even if it's not, it bring, memories come in. So I think smell is a very powerful, uh, uh, works on your, your imagination or makes you remember. That one makes me, re reminds me of my dad. Uh, whatever cologne he used to wear, this aftershave smells like it. But yeah, feels good. Like it. All right. 64. Glad you guys are sticking with me. Those of you who are, hope you're enjoying it. Um, if I decide to do the lather test on that shaving soap that I made, I'll go ahead and, and video it. Uh, so whatever happens, good or bad, we'll be able to know together. Uh, and uh, until then, happy shaving everybody. Live life. I'll see you next time.